Hi everybody, Diamonds by Tita here. Thanks so much for stopping by and hanging out with me because this is the kickoff of Paint with Friends Halloween Fall Edition. Um, this event is hosted by um, Hoya Bella and I am her co-host for this. And I just wanna do a little whip and chat. I wanna talk a little bit about the event um, and just let you know what's been going on in my life for the last um, couple days. So here we go. So Paint with Friends um, Halloween Fall Edition is um, an event that basically doesn't have any rules. There's no prizes, there's no uh, form to fill out, um, there's um, no sponsors, there's you know nothing like that. It's just a bunch of friends that are getting together uh, to share their love of diamond painting and to uh, sometimes you can paint the same canvas. Sometimes you're painting different canvases. Um, it's just a fun event just to be able to be doing the same theme. So if you have already joined, um, I have your name in the comment section below. So please check to make certain it's there. If you want to participate and it's not there, drop me a comment so I can be sure to add you. And conversely, if it's there and you don't want to participate, let me know and I can remove it. Remove your name. All right. So next thing is um, if you have a diamond painting channel, um, it is wonderful for you to be able to post. Um, you can do whipping chats. You can do progress reports. Um, you can uh, show completions. Um, you can show your kitting up, kitting down. Um, just let us kind of know how you're you're doing, you know, with your painting. Um, and we all like to go and visit each other's channels. If we're not a subscriber, we'll sub we'll subscribe to support you. Um, I'm going to try very hard to comment on everybody. It's going to be a lot of videos to watch. I think there is. I think at this count, there's over 20, 25 maybe um, that have joined. Um, so I'm gonna work real hard to be able to watch everybody's videos. Um, now, having a channel is not a requirement of the event. If you don't have a channel, that's totally fine. You can you can participate and you can still join in on um, you know all of the fun. You can either send me or Hoya Bella some photos um, of your canvas, of your painting as you're working through it, or your completions, or you know something you want to be able to tell the group, um, and I will post it in my videos so that you can you can see that. But um, having said that, you know personally, I would encourage you to maybe try a channel, um, and I'll tell you why. I think I've told everybody, but I have so many new viewers and, and followers that you may not know this, but I did um, a Paint with Friends back in May. It was a landscape edition, um, and it was so much fun. And um, I, you know, I watched a little bit of YouTube, I, you know, not, not a lot, but I had no intentions of doing a channel um, by any stretch of the means. And, um, there was a couple of different creators that encouraged me to to try it, just to make a channel just for the paint with friends. So I said, okay, I don't know what the heck I'm doing, but I'll give it a shot. So I did, um, and as they say, the rest is history, and here I am. Um, I had no idea that I would enjoy YouTube as much as I do. I love YouTube, I love my um, diamond painting family, my friends. I made some amazing friends um, in this adventure. So that's just my little shout out if you wanted to give your hand at trying to do a channel. All right, so what I'm doing, um, oh, I just turned my light pad on and I'm not gonna touch it because um, it's been flickering. I think my cord is going out. I thought it was the whole light pad but my friend, um, Diamond Painting Bewitched Cat, uh, thank you, Cat, for this. She thought that it might be just the cord itself. So I ordered a new cord and um, 
and I'm gonna see if it helps. So this is my painting, so you can see the whole thing. It is my cute little teapot, I just love it. This came from Timu. I love the little steam that's coming out of the teapot. I love the little ghost, and these are little skulls, and then the flowers. I just think it's just so pretty. Um, so again, it's a 30 by 40. Um, I did not re-kit this up. Let me just show you. This came with um, the little baggies, the little zip top baggies, and I kept them in that. Look at all the 310s. Look at all the black. Oh, so much, so much. I've never done so much black. Um, so I'm gonna just work out of this. Um, I am working again with my one of my favorite blue my favorite thin pens. This is my blue one. Um, I've got my little tray with my 310 blacks in it. And um, I am going to use a cover minder. I normally don't use cover minders in all honesty. I normally section off with my parchment squares, but this is so small that I think um, doing it with a cover minder is going to work. Now, if you don't know what a cover minder is, it's just a really cute <clears throat> uh, little, I don't know what I'm going to call it. Um, well, this is a cute little flower, <coughs> but they come in many different designs. And then it has a magnet on the back, and then you have another magnet here. So what I do is I just put um, a magnet underneath here, see like that? And then I put, oops, I have it the wrong way. Gotta put it the right way. <clears throat> so I have it like that. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull my cover sheet off the canvas like that. And I put it on and it holds my cover sheet back. Um, now I am gonna put a little parchment paper here so that I don't get stuck to it because I'm going to be working in the, um, <coughs> excuse me, lower right hand corner and I'm going to be moving left. Um, I did start, uh, <coughs> excuse me, earlier today, I started up here, but I thought I didn't want to be um, working upside down. I wanted you to be able to see, to be able to see this well. Okay, I'm gonna bring it in just a little bit. There we go. <clears throat> and I'm sorry, it is starting to flicker. I'm gonna see if I can get, it's really hard for me not to work with a light pad. Amazon is supposed to be sending my cord. There we go. Oh, it's supposed to be sending my cord um, by Monday. Oh, it works if I hold it up. You know, I'm gonna put a little something underneath it and see if, is that gonna be too big? That's gonna be too big. Let me find a little something that I can put underneath it. I know what I can put underneath it. I'm gonna get creative. I can be a problem solver. I actually have a little four placer and that is little and tiny, and maybe that will just hold it up. Oh, it did. Problem solver. All right, so here I go. Um, what I like to do is I like to do my edges first and work up. Um, I got in a habit of that with uh, squares. Um, round, it probably isn't as critical and then I am using, let me just show you. This is just a straightener. I'm gonna push this up a little bit. Um, I get a little, I don't know, I don't wanna say OCD, a little anal. Um, I like to have the top or the, the edge rows real nice and straight. Um, not everybody does this and that's totally fine. Um, I'm just showing you what, um, works for me so that I can have them all straight, at least for the first row. Um, I am multi-placing with a four-placer. I'm getting pretty 
I'm pretty confident with it now. Um, although I need to push myself a little bit and maybe do a six placer or um, with this much black, I think a 10 placer would be a really efficient way to, to do it. So, there we go. I don't have it totally straight. I'm sorry. See, so you, you watch me get a little bit. Maybe I'm a little too precise. I don't know. It's just these edge rows that, that do this for me. All right. Well, I went thrifting yesterday with my sister. You guys know we like to go to garage sales and thrifting and no diamond paintings this week. I did find some a couple weeks ago, and I'm sorry, I just haven't had a chance to um, do that video. Um, there's nothing, I mean, nothing spectacular. They were just um, uh, inexpensive paintings that may have come from like AliExpress, or I don't recognize them from Timu. They're probably a little bit older style. Um, but it was just the thrill of finding them, which was, which was really a lot of fun. Um, but today I didn't really find anything, um, with the exception, um, you know, I like, you know, Pampered Chef kitchen, um, products, but, you know, I can't afford Pampered Chef, um, the really cool items, but I can't, they're, they're just, they're just too much money. I can't do it. But I found in the thrift store, I found a, um, I found a beautiful pie plate by Pampered, Pampered Chef, and um, I got it for $7. So I thought that was a pretty good deal. So that was fun. Um, other than that, I, I really didn't find much of anything. I, you know, you're, um, <clears throat> your chairs that are on like hardwood floors or um, your laminate floors and you wanna make certain to protect the floors, you know, the little, I don't know what you're gonna call them, doohickeys, thingamajibbers, um, the little padding that goes on the bottom of the chairs. Um, I need those for mine because mine are kind of wearing out. And um, so I got those and those were like a buck. So that was, that was pretty good. <clears throat> and, um, what else did I get? That's, I mean, I, what else did I get? Oh, um, I got some Christmas cards. So that was nice. And they were like $1.79 for the box. So I got that. And, um, maybe I can put this over here. Maybe this will be, I'm trying to find a comfortable spot that you guys can see everything and um, I still can diamond paint okay. There we go. So I got <clears throat> got that first row done there. Um, yeah, so that was fun to do. <clears throat> and um, I'm sorry I'm a little froggy. <clears throat> Um, every time that we, that fall hits and we start getting rain, my allergies just hit <clears throat> and I just get stuff in my throat. So my apologies for that. Um, let's see. So we've got this painting for Paint with Friends. And I'm really excited about it. We, um, we're going to have a really good, um, turnout. It's going to be fun. A lot of new people have joined, which is, which is great. And, um, then I also will be doing, you'll be seeing a video come out. Oh, shoot. I just knocked my little thing off. Oh my goodness. Don't do this. Please be my problem solver and fix it. 
There we go. I knocked off my little placer there. Um, <clears throat> so I'm also doing, as you know, the um, Break the Silence, which is a domestic violence awareness event. Now this one does have rules uh, to it. The painting primarily has to be purple. There's a particular size that you have to, um, size requirements you have to meet. Um, I will link, well, in my video, I will link all the information on it too when I get to it. Uh, so that will be posting um, later on today. I just have to do the video for it. Um, so yeah, I am very, very busy this month. It's gonna be, and um, let's see. Um, well, on tomorrow is October 2nd, and October 2nd is, um, or is my mom's birthday. So this is my first, the first year, first birthday with, without her. Um, so it's definitely, definitely sad. I'm gonna go and put some flowers out on her, on her grave. We got her a, a beautiful, you know, headstone. And it has a little um, vase thing, you know, that we can put flowers in. So I'm gonna do that. And she was an incredible, incredible woman. If you guys didn't know, um, again, I've got so many new subscribers and, vi and uh, viewers. Um, my mom lived with me for seven years after my dad passed away. Um, she was virtually blind because of um, macular degeneration. <clears throat> and, um, and I'm sorry, I don't think I had you in frame. I wasn't paying any attention. I'm just diamond painting away and if I didn't have you in frame, sorry about that. But anyway, so mom um, lived with me. She moved up here from California and um, she <coughs> had um, esophageal cancer, no. What was that called? She had um she had a tumor that was laying across her vocal cords and her airway. I'm sorry, I can't remember all of the terms of it. It's 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 been a while. I wish my brother was here. He would remember all of that. Um anyway, um it was covering about 90% of her airway. And um she had an allergic reaction and couldn't breathe again because she had so little airway. Long story short, um, they put in um, a trach because uh, they said that they couldn't remove the tumor. If they did, it would they would have to remove her voice box, and um, it is a really uh, brutal surgery, and they didn't want to do that to her. Um, but her option would be to um, have radiation treatment, but the radiation treatment, you know, would make her um, quite sick. Or, and the doctor thought that he could cure it with, with the radiation. Um, whoops, I'm dropping everything. And so we left that up to my mom, and at that time she was... How old was she, 94 or 95? So she's pretty up there. And let me tell you, she's a fighter. Um, she wanted she wanted the treatment, so we did. And um, it did, it, it got rid of the tumor, um, but it the radiation damaged her esophagus. It fused it shut so she couldn't eat. So unfortunately, um, I had to tube feed her um, after that. And the woman never complained, um, never complained. I don't know what I would do if I couldn't eat. I think I would be grumbling and complaining every day. 
the only time she ever slightly complained is she would say in the morning when she would smell the coffee, you know, brewing that she wanted a cup of coffee. So I always felt really bad, you know, cooking or, or eating or anything around her, but she said it, it was okay. She wanted, she wanted to do that. She wanted me to do it. Anyhow, um, so that was her, her treatment with that. And I um, thought I'd tell you a couple stories about her if you, if you want to hear them. So she lived a long time. Again, she died at a little over 100 years old. And she, the kids and the grandkids really called her um, the human Google. Um, they would sometimes call her uh, Yoda because of the wise advice that she would give. Um, she was a mighty prayer warrior and, um, lover of Jesus. Um, sometimes I would say that she had a hotline to heaven every time she, she prayed. Um, but anyway, she was, um, a nurse and she went to school, um, again, back in the day, I think this was probably in the 40s when she went to school. So again, a long time ago in San Francisco. And um, it was a different world in the medical community back then from how it is now. And, um, and again, some of you may have already heard this story um, I'm sorry if I'm duplicating it, but again, I've got so many new subscribers and viewers that um, I thought I would share again. Um, so she would tell she would tell stories, and she'd tell the nurses when we were in the hospital, and they were always just aghast when she would tell the the stories when she was a nurse. So if she was on the floor and a doctor walked in. Um, all the nurses had to stand up like at attention, like what the military would do because they were, because a doctor was on board. And again, at that time, the majority of the doctors were male. There really wasn't very many female doctors. Um, and then she told me that um, nurses, now mind you, this is a, a registered nurse, an RN gone through all the training, you know, smart, smart women. Um, they weren't allowed to take blood pressures um, because they weren't bright enough to take blood pressures. Um, the doctors all had to do that. Um, which <laughs> I just, that just absolutely blows my mind. And then, um, you know, World War II was going on, right? So all the doctors, or the great majority of doctors, went to went to war. And once that happened, during the day, during that time, you know, the women all stepped up, whether it was working in factories or um, that's how you. I'm going off topic a little bit, but look up Rosie the Riveter. Um, the women, um, you know, worked in factories producing what they needed for the war. I mean, women were absolutely amazing during World War II. So the nurses were also amazing and they took care, oops, got a hair there. Um, the women were amazing and they, the nurses stepped up and they had to do a lot of the medical care, um, which means that they took blood pressures. Imagine that, you know, us women were bright enough to take, take blood pressure readings, but she delivered babies. Um, she treated, you know, wounds. She, um, you know, did stitches. I mean, she did a lot of things that the doctors did because there really wasn't doctors. So the nurses all had to do the care. Um, so that's just a little, a little story um, that she would tell. Um, she loved taking care of people. 
She loved her family. Um, I have um, four brothers and a sister. And I don't know how she didn't lose her mind with all the children, but she didn't. She was a fabulous cook. She probably made the best apple pie ever and the best lemon pie. Oh, and cinnamon rolls. Oh my gosh, I don't know if you guys like cinnamon rolls or not. I love cinnamon rolls. And I remember as a little kid, she would bake cinnamon rolls and she would make panfuls of them because she baked them in the what is it a nine by eleven pan um and she probably would make oh at least four panfuls at a time and I remember my brother and I I think we wiped out like almost a whole pan at a time um oops missed that one yeah she loved to bake um she made a fabulous meatloaf, and um, my brothers didn't like uh, vegetables. They really wouldn't eat vegetables, so she was one that was ahead of her time as far as like vitamins and um, nutrition, and she was gonna get, you know, um, vegetables in them, so she would grate a carrot up or great other vegetables and hide it in the meatloaf. And they never knew and they ate it. Kind of have to do what you have to do to keep your kids healthy. But yeah, she um, she was wonderful. That's a little bit about mom. Um, I will see if I can find a picture. She's got um, a, a picture when she graduated from nursing school that is Beautiful. I'll see if I can find that and put that up on the video. Um, I'll see if I can do that. But that's a just a quick story. I've got other stories I can tell about her as well. So, Mom, I miss you dearly. I miss you dearly. And then on the 9th of October is um, my dad's birthday. Now, he passed away in um, 94 of colon cancer. Um, so I got lots of stories about him too, but I will save that for another date because I am at 28 minutes. I'll just go a few more minutes. Just gonna finish up. I'm gonna try to do all the black here first the three tens and then I will do the the teapot itself I'm hoping I can get it done now I mean this not now no I can't get this done now that's for certain I said I hope I can get it done this month so what I'm going to do with the paint with friends is um I'll be doing more whipping chats. Uh, I'll be doing some progress reports. Um, I'll be sharing, you know, photos of folks that, um, you know, don't have a YouTube channel. We'll be doing that. I will be visiting everybody's channels. Um, if you have a channel and uh, give you support on all of that. Um, so I'm hoping everybody that um, is signed up can go and visit everybody else's channels, because that's always fun. We've got some amazing creators in this community um, who are very passionate about their diamond painting. Um, let's see, is there anything else that's going on? Oh, we had rain last night. We had a big, um, big storm. Actually, we've had storms for a couple nights. Um, yeah, two nights in a row we've had storms. And um, my dog hasn't liked it at all. She gets scared of the thunder. Right now it's not raining, but I think it's going to. 
It's nice to have the rain though, we need it. So that it's gonna put out all the fire. So oh, that's a trash drill. Um, let's see. Oh, you see I'm wearing my flannel again. I love me my flannel. Uh, I'm so glad it's fall. I can get cozy in my flannel shirts. I love them. Love them, love them, love them. I don't know, sweaters tend to be like too heavy for me. I get too hot in sweaters. Um, but I like my flannel. Um, let's see. I think that's about it. So I'm at 30 minutes. I've gotten um, a real good start at this, as you can see, getting all of this black done. I'll be happy when I can actually start working into the pumpkin itself, because I love the purple. Yeah, I love purple. And I think when I get done here, I think I might fill in with some of these H's. And I'm gonna try to get this whole row of black done, um, all of the black through here, and then I'll move up into the pumpkin itself. Like I said, I work from my lower right down to my left and up. And I'll probably work, you know, halfway up and then flip it upside down, probably. Or I turn it like, I mean, I can turn it this way when I'm working on it. It's just kind of, I mean, I turn it however, um, whoops, however it's easiest for me to be able to see is how I work. Um, I've talked to you guys a lot about comfort, you know, when you're diamond painting. Um, so please be comfortable, you know, with, with your diamond painting. Oop, oh my goodness, I dumped, look at that, I dumped drills. Did you see me do that and I didn't, and I didn't see it? Oh goodness, I did. I need my tweezers, but they are, uh, I'll try to squish it over this way. I'll just slide it over, there we go. Should have done it with my tweezers. But this canvas is actually um, pretty sticky. I'm, I'm happy with it. Um, I'm real happy so far with the drill qualities of the, um, of the three tens. Uh, I'm gonna be brave and show you this. Oops. You can see that they're all really uniform in size. Let me give you a little bit more light. Hang on a second. Uh, maybe you can't see it as well, but they are very uniform. Um, I'll also show you. I'll also show you on this. There really isn't much trash, which I'm happy about. Sometimes the budget-friendly kits um, have a lot of trash. Alrighty, so that's where I'm going to stop. There, we just did this little section here. I will continue on um, today, but I have to do my next video of my uh, my horse, my Diamond Art Club. Um, so keep an eye out for that video. That will be next on the agenda because I have to do these October 1. Um, so take care, everybody. Happy diamond painting. Um, remember, you don't have to be perfect to be amazing because you are amazing. I wanna thank everybody that is watching. Thank all my subscribers and my viewers. Um, you just rock, you're awesome. And um, I will see you on the next one. Happy diamond painting, everybody. Bye-bye.